Welcome to Cornwall and welcome to Kernow EXP. We explore from land, sea and air and the lost and forgotten places. So we're now about to go exploring. So let's go folks. Hope you enjoy Kernow EXP, Cornwall's premier exploring YouTube channel. Let's go. Hello, welcome back to Kernow EXP. Today we're not far from Crantock and uh, we're going to head towards Polly Joke Cove. But on the way, hi folks, so on the way there's a cave here or a thing and there's a carving of a lady. There is a bit of a story behind this, so shall we go and have a look? Yeah? Bit of camera malfunction then, but every, and never mind. Right. So the story is back in, I think it was Edwardian times. Now it could be Victorian times. <coughs> A lady and her lady in waiting, if you want to call it that, or assistant. She drowned here, folks, and they both drowned, and it's a very sad thing. So, in honour of that young lady, there was a carving created in one of the little caves here, and it's to honour this lady. Now, I I need to, I need to do some more research on this, but. Uh, it could be anything from 1910, or it could be anything from 1890, but it's around that era. So we're gonna have a look, see what we can see. Hopefully we can see the, um, the carving, which I think will be quite good. So I'm not sure where it is. But I believe it is around here somewhere. Now where exactly, I don't know. I don't think it's that one, but uh, yeah. It could be that one actually. No, I don't think it is. I think it's this one down here. I think we're on the uh, right track right now. It's a little bit overcast today. We've had some crap weather down here in Cornwall at the moment. Squally rain, wind. It's almost been like winter, folks, which is not ideal, is it, really? But uh, sometimes you just got to grab it by its horns and roll with it so that's why we're here today so we're heading ultimately to Polly Joke which is a small little inlet further down there folks so but uh, yeah anyway I think we're on the money now blimey look at this so yeah here we go so I'm assuming it's down here, but I'm not really sure, to be honest. We're probably not going to make it because it looks completely waterlogged. But we will have a look. And uh, yeah, we're probably not going to make it today. Look at this, it's completely washed out, isn't it? But I believe it's it's down around here somewhere. But anyway, it could be just around the corner here. So we're going to have a look. So if you come down here, make sure that uh, you check the tide times because when the tide is in, folks, you cannot get anywhere near this. It's uh, unpassable. 
I'll try not to get you on video. <laughs> <laughs> Is this where the carving is of the lady? I don't know. Do you know, I should know really being a local. Yeah. <laughs> you Not can't, that at all. I can't see it. Yeah. It's hiding. Yeah. <laughs> Not easy to get no, no. Water, is it? No, certainly not. I've not got you on video, so you're all good. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think we're going to view that, unfortunately, but it could be, it could be, folks, that it's the other one round here. Now, I might have to cut the video because I did see a woman. in a undressed state, which is not terribly good, is it? Right, I think I'm going to have to cut the video there, folks. Uh, we'll be back in a moment when we get round the corner here because some people don't like being filmed, do they? Anyway, back in... Unfortunately, we couldn't find the lady in the cliff today uh, due to coastal erosion, folks. But we're now on our way to Polly Joke. And, uh, yeah, a bit of a virgin explore again today because we've not actually been on this bit before. But uh, yeah, giving it a go, smashing it out. Right, just let these folks go a minute. Let's continue, folks, to Polly Joke. Here we come. So, a member of the crew has been here already, David. So, himself is on the way. Oh, hey. so. so, if you do come here on holiday, Make sure you swim between the flags. It is a guarded beach, but uh, it's always best to stick up the top end because it's uh, properly lifeguarded and what have you. This is a tidal inlet here, so make sure you check the tide times and all that jazz. Whew, the neck. <laughs> Good job I got some drink with me. Okay. Whew, flipping heck. Bit of a sweat on. Whew. So we're now on the coast path proper, as you can see. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, so. The reason I couldn't get to the ladies cave, as they call it, is because it's submerged in water, folks. And I'm not really prepared to get up to me uh, knees in cold water today, unfortunately. We still, be, we still got to get home and I'm going to be hours in the cold water, so it would take a while to dry. So we'll leave that one for another day. But we will come back again and we will do it. But we tried. So this is another walking video today. There will be a drone flight at the end. Possibly a very short drone flight, but yet again, it may not be a short drone flight. Who knows? Nearly went on my ass then. Not recommended. Don't do it, folks. <laughs> A little bit blowy today, but we are prepared. We've got our jacket, so should be all good.
Right. So I think uh, later on we'll probably go up that way, is it? And quite a distance from where the bike is. So the bike's in Crantock, folks, in the village. So it's going to be a bit of a trek getting back today. <laughs> oh, nice concrete path. If it's like this all the way, it'd be ideal, but I doubt it. Well, I hope you're all good. Hope you've had a, a good weekend. Uh, we're feeling a lot better now after our little escapade of, of housing and what have you, but uh, I think we're going to be at the current place for a, a while, <coughs> which is, it's all right, folks. I like it. It's all good. <coughs> the only downside is, right, I'll be brutally honest right now, uh, the internet, the internet's not great. So we've got to, basically we're using mobile internet, SIM card basically, unlimited internet we've got, but uh, it's a bit slow uploading where we are, the signal's not great. So uh, it could be the case that we upload via a member of the crew or we go up top of Carnbray and just sit up there on a nice warm day and just upload loads of videos and then just gradually release them. So at the moment, uh, it's working all right. What I mean is the last three videos have been done through mobile internet and uh, it seems to be working all right, but the signal fluctuates. What I mean is one minute is good, next minute is not. All right, what's that say? Footpath only, no cycling or horse riding. All right, okay. So if you do come here, there will be one or two Kernow stickers, but uh, they're going to be hidden. They're not going to be in public view, if you know what I mean. They're going to be slightly hidden. So let us know if you do find them. Some nice steps here. They look quite old. So yeah, very good. So we do believe that Polly Joke is just over this headland that we're heading to. And uh, good Lord, got some snorkelers there and they've got like a support dinghy. It's rather interesting, isn't it? So look at the distance there, folks. Look at that. So I'll just try and zoom in a bit. So we've been up there. I think we've got to go back up there again at some, some stage in the future. But uh, that's in the future at the moment. We've got uh, quite a few things to do locally before we venture further away. Right. It's a well-worn path, isn't it? Sorry about the crap camera work there. First time using the pocket camera for a while. Yeah. Thought I'd seen a rolling rat then. Maybe not. Right, okay. Uh, I think we'll go this way.
I really do hope that we get uh, a bit of summer back. We've got people ahead of us. Right, we've got more people up here as well. Right, I'll just let them go a minute. Okay, you're right. All right. Thank you. It's okay. It's all right. Right, that's us. That's people gone. So we're heading into the headland a bit now. Oh, pardon me. So, oh, I've got to stop for a moment. So this is the uh, the bay where the gannel is. The gannel, it's basically up, up. I'll point to where it is. Up there, folks, when the tide comes in, it floods. Uh, We've done quite a bit of filming over there. So that's the pen tire over there. Whoops. And uh, I think we're gonna do some more filming around Nuki at, at some point, folks. Um, the weather has just hasn't played ball recently, has it? You know. Right. I think all the it's all clear now, so we can uh, make our way. <laughs> Now, I'm not really sure why this cove is called Polly Joke. I don't really have much of a clue about it. But every, every year, there's some fields around here which uh, are covered in poppies. And it's around the time of the uh, Remembrance Day. And uh, it's quite a poignant thing. Not being able to capture it myself, but maybe one day we might. But uh, not just yet. So let's keep plodding on. So we've got some more folks there. So we've got some uh, surf skiers there, folks. Look. Can you see them? That'd be quite exhilarating, wouldn't it? So it must have come round from uh, Polly Joke. So I just stop there at the moment. It's quite busy around here. Jumper. Thank you. <laughs> right, I think we need to move on. Right back in a moment. Right, so now we're going to head on, folks, to Polly Joke. Let's go. I think the weather might be changing a bit, so I'm hoping we can get the drone up before it pisses down. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, it's feeling a bit damp now, so you might have to uh, go and hide somewhere. Today is one of those days where we've just got to run with it, and yeah, it's starting to rain. <laughs> Bugger.
Okay, this is Polly Joke. Wow, look at this. Oh, blowing a hooli over here. So we've got a quarry. Over here. Sorry about the wind noise if you can hear it. It's beyond my control. Oh, flipping heck. Okay. So it looks like there might have been like fishermen's huts here at one time or another. Right, so I don't think we're going to make it down to there today, folks, unfortunately, because it is blowing a bloody hooli. It's started to rain. So I think uh, my best bet would be to follow this path back. And uh, I haven't chosen the days wisely, have I? Not really. There you go. It's like that sometimes. But we've seen Polly joke. <laughs> yeah, that wind is not very nice. All right, as soon as we get down out of the wind, it's uh, it's not as bad. Right, so we're going to backtrack now. We're going to film the whole bloody lot, I think, just to make up for a bit of lost time here today. But uh, sometimes with the greatest foresight, folks, you know, even the greatest planning, it doesn't always pan it the way you want it. Today is a classic example. And uh, if I were to fly the drone, it would bloody struggle. It really would because of that wind. I think we will try to get the drone up, but uh, we're gonna have to uh, find somewhere that's uh, fairly sheltered, I think. Cause I, think I think it's gonna struggle, to be honest. Uh, I'm, I'm in two minds about the drone, to be fair. But, uh, yeah, that was gusting at least 35 miles an hour and I think the drone would struggle. So, no, I don't think it, I think we make an executive decision not to fly the drone today, especially not there anyway. So now we're going to head back to the bike. Now we have got a fair old trek to go, so... Yeah, you can hear the wind, it's, it's gusting, folks. So, yeah, not ideal, not ideal. <clears throat> now, I do make things up as we go, so I may not record all the way back. So, yeah, sorry if you're disappointed with this one, folks, but uh, the powers of nature are in charge today, yeah. <laughs> But at least we had a look at Polly Joke. We didn't actually get down to it, but we looked at it from afar, which is a first because, you know, I've never ever been on this bit before ever. Anyway, on that bombshell, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, liking the video and everything else. I'll see you soon, folks, on a better video later in the week. See you then. Cheers and gone.